one of the films that was already in production and shooting when the writers, or I'm sorry, the actor strike began and shut things down was not just Deadpool, but Venom 3 uh, was in production. Tom Hardy was sharing, you know, uh, set photos and they were blasting through trying to get as much done as they could. Well, it didn't take long for them to get Venom 3 back up and running again because Tom Hardy is now posting on social media from the set of Venom 3 and a lot of consistency with the other images. This comes from the folks at Screen Rant who write, Sony's Venom 3 starts filming again after the SAG After Strikes concludes and Tom Hardy shares a new set photo from the Marvel movie to celebrate. And here's the photo that they're talking about. Again, you see Tom Hardy, this is his Instagram account. Now, if I scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see... If that shirt looks familiar, it's because that's the shirt he was wearing in the previous set photos that we saw from Venom 3. So we know this is a Venom 3. Plus, he kind of made a little Venom emoji and said Venom 3 in his comments as well. So they're back on set. They're filming again. There's still a lot we don't know about this movie. And I'm surprised how much they've been able to keep under wraps. Like, there's some speculation going around right now that Venom 3 will actually tie a little bit more, show some very loose ties to the MCU and to the SSU, the Sony Spider Universe, uh, that might even be some more ties there. But I, I haven't been able to find anything concrete to establish either of those. Now, of course, at the end of the one Venom movie, Venom sees Tom Holland's Spider-Man and gets sucked into that world. And what was the payoff for that? A post credit scene of just Tom Hardy at a bar saying, oh, okay, I guess I'm going back to my universe now. And boom, has gone. Fun little Easter egg. Not even an Easter egg. Fun little cameo. Yeah. But with how much excitement they generated at the end of the one minute when he went over. So are they going to piggyback on that? Show some other connections? Are they going to tie him more into the bigger spider universe, which they have not really done yet in that in the SSU? They haven't really showed interconnection very much there yet. So we'll have to just wait and see. But Venom 3, still up and running. And listen, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what nobody says. The first Venom movie is awesome. It's so I, fun. It's so fun. I, I still remember, I think, Ray, you were there with me the first time I, I watched Venom 3. And me, Ray, the whole audience, we just had a blast. Yeah, it was a great movie. It was so fun. I like Venom 2. Didn't like it as much as uh, the first one. It has some problems. But I still had a good time with that. I'm, I'm very looking forward to Venom 3. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans for Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before, I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway chris you saw what tom hardy posted uh what do you think about them getting back into production because some other things that were in production when the actor strike happened still haven't managed to get back on set yet mm -hmm. so what do you think about them being able to do that and what are you expecting from this movie well it's a mad scramble right now. I've got some friends who work in coordination. It's <laughs> go to London today. Go to London today. Figure it out. So uh, if you are in production, oh my gosh, uh, happy holidays. I wish you well. <laughs> Oof. I'm thrilled to see this back in production because I do love the Venom movies. I think they are wildly fun. I think they're super ridiculous. I love how Tom Hardy plays this character. I think it's just super, super great. I am interested in how we're going to have that payoff of the t-shirt, though, because you can't keep showing it to me and then not address those time jumps, multiverse jumps, etc. Right. So I don't know if we're going to have this story take place in between those moments, uh, before, after, that sort of thing. But I do think you have to pay it off if you're going to keep having him in the same outfit. Otherwise, we're going just like full 
1990s Spider-Man cartoon kind of thing where everyone just wears the same outfit always. <laughs> yeah. Well, that even could be it too. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> I'm always in this. Dazzler, when you ran away from home, you were wearing that. And two years later, you're still wearing it. Still wearing it. it. <laughs> still wearing it. Exactly. So I'm interested to see how it pays off. And that picture of Tom just looks so great, too. He's just so happy to be back. Oh, yeah. He he, he looks like he's having a blast on there. That actually, it's good to see. Yeah, I, yeah, that, 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 I love Tom Hardy. So I hope this goes well. I, by the way, it comes out in less than a year. It's scheduled to come out November 8th, I believe. Chances we see Venom in the uh, Craven, the Hunter post credit. We always try to link them, and they don't ever link with Sony. Yeah, listen. But, but this this last Spider-Man 2 game, they were very... In yeah, the, but the right, game, but the game and these movies yeah, are two but, separate you know things, what? right? Yeah. You're wrong, but, right? I mean, I remember after the first <laughs> Venom movie, I mean, I remember we would speculate a lot about, man, listen, you do a version of this, of Craven, the... Not the greatest hunt, the, the biggest hunt, the... What's yeah. the name of the storyline again? Last Hunt. The, last Hunt. I, I thought you make a movie with Craven the Hunter hunting Venom. Yeah. I said, that could be badass. And we speculated about that for a long time. It doesn't look that's what, like what we're getting. But I would be, listen, if you told me tomorrow or if a Sony exec called me and said, what do you think about us putting like a Venom post credit scene of Venom and Craven maybe encountering each other? I'd, I'd say, yeah, I'd love to see that. That would be fun. But... I don't know. Listen, we first got to find out if this Craven movie is going to be any good. Craven has to first deal with the most dangerous game, a dad. <laughs> yes, that's the most dad dang- issues. Daddy issues is always big in this. And listen, I don't care what anybody says. I'm still looking forward to Craven. I I mean, I love um, the I love the idea of the character mm-hmm. in an a live action environment. Right. I love the idea. I keep wanting to call kick-ass Thomas Hayden Church. Not Thomas Hayden Church. <laughs> I would love Thomas Hayden Church to be. <laughs> That's very, very different actor. Um, uh, Aaron Taylor, Aaron Taylor, Taylor Johnson. Johnson. Thomas Hayden Church, Aaron Taylor Johnson. I love his casting in it. There are things about the trailer that I did like. Some things that made me go, this might not be so good. There's but, so much for why in that trailer for me. <laughs> but we will find out. So let's see if that's any good before we start writing fan fiction about the crossover between it and Venom. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Already doing it. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.